Hello friends, in this video we will learn how to use an LCD display with Arduino Mega and we will use a test code to test whether it is working or not. Here is the 16x2 LCD display. It has 16 pins, starting from VSS2 cathode. We have to first insert it into the breadboard. Now we will connect two small wires here and another one is here so that we can use this entire row, this black wire row as ground row and the red wire row as VCC or 5 volt row. Now we will connect the LCD pin. We have to connect this VSS pin to ground. So we will connect this by using a single strand wire. So it is connected to ground. Next we have to connect this VDD pin to this 5 volt pin, 5 volt row that we have considered. So we will connect it now. Then we have to connect this VO pin to a potentiometer. We can use this type of small trim pot or this type of preset or we can use this type of potentiometer. The connection is almost same for all. We will use this trim pot to connect here. We can also use this type of trim pot and this type of trim pot, uh, potentiometer. If we use this type of trim pot, then we have to connect this middle pin that is here to VO pin and from these two terminals, we have to connect one of these terminal to VCC that is 5 volt row that we have considered and another one to this ground row. Same case for this also. We have to connect this middle pin to uh, this VO and from these two terminals we have to connect any one of these to uh, VCC and another one to ground. If we use this type of potentiometer then we have to connect this middle pin to VO and from this leftmost or rightmost terminals we have to connect any one of these to VCC and another one to ground row. So we will use in this case this one. So we will insert it here and then we will connect it by using a small connecting wires. We will connect it to VO pin. Then we have to connect this any one of from this to this ground and another one to VCC. Okay. Now we have to connect this RS pin to pin number 1 of Arduino Mega. So here is pin number 1 and we will connect this to RS pin. Then we have to connect this read write that is RW pin to ground. We will connect it by using a single stand wire. Also we can use this type of jumper wire that is this type of male to male jumper wire for connection or we can use this type of single strand wire. Now we have to connect this E pin that is enable pin here to pin number 2 of Arduino Mega. This LCD has 8 data pin. Out of these 8 data pins, we will use only 4 data pins. We will use D4, D5, D6 and D7. We have to connect this D4 pin to pin number 4 of this mega, then D5 to 5 and D6 to 6 and D7 to 7. So let us connect. Now this anode pin should be connected to VCC that is 5 volt pin and this cathode should be connected 
the last one should be connected to ground so here at last we have to connect the 5 volt pin from arduino mega to this vcc row that we have considered and then we have to connect this ground pin of arduino mega to ground pin of this breadboard now our connection is ready now we have to connect the arduino cable to upload the test code that we have given in the description of this video then we will check whether it is working or not here is our code now you upload this code here we can see there is nothing so we have to adjust this potentiometer rotate it and you see working that means it is now displaying the text hello i am good what about you so thank you for watching this video if you like our videos then please don't forget to subscribe us you can also buy electronics components projects from our website www.dpvtechnology.com thank you